hello everyone welcome back to my channel so again today we have this think center lenovo dc this is a model m72e so let's have a look together what's wrong with this dc and why it's here let's take this cover let me connect the display cord display cable and the power cable okay let's try it now let me bring the microscope view so you can see if we have a picture okay so this is the microscope view let's try now okay so it does turn on but I think we will not get a display because this fan should slow down let me turn it off okay so the fan in front here not this one not the CPU fan the one in front here should slow down if everything is good but this one is not slowing down it keeps at high speed and that indicates that we have a problem with the motherboard and we will not get a display okay so let's try and find what's wrong with this computer let me take the microscope view now okay so let's bring the multimeter and uh, test some voltages here let's turn it on again as you can see the fan in here this one it's turning on at full speed let me disconnect it to avoid the noise so let's check some voltages here so we should have at these MOSFETs the voltage of the RAM memory which is uh, 1.5 volts yeah 1.5 volt as you can see so we have the RAM memory voltage do we have the v-core let me check the v-core the v-core is missing that's why we don't have a display and that's why also this fan is not slowing down let's check bin 8 of the BIOS so we have 3.3 .3 volts which is good so here we have 1.5 volt and on the other side of this MOSFET we have 1.05 which is going to the to the chipset okay so everything now seems to be good I think we also will find 1.8 volt here and yes it is there 1.8 volt so everything now seems to be good one thing I want to check is the VCCSA voltage if the VCCSA voltage is not present that will explain why we don't have v-core voltage in this specific model the vccsa is prone to fail it's almost always this voltage let me take the fan okay so let's check again the v-core voltage v-core voltage is zero so the vccsa is at this mosfet so we should have cpu vtt volt uh, one volt at this side of the mosfet let me zoom in a little bit okay so this is the mosfet that i was testing now the computer is still running so we should see cpu vtt voltage here which is one volt 1.05 and yeah we do have it and we should see 
the VCCSA voltage at this pin of the MOSFET of the MOSFET here and we don't have it so every time the VCCSA is missing is because of this IC next to this MOSFET it's there let me go to the microscope so we can see it okay so this is the MOSFET that I was talking about this one uh, I said that we should see 1.05 volt here and we do have 1.049 volt here we should see the VCCSA which is 0.9 volt and there is nothing the other side of it is the drive side which is driven by this IC okay so that IC part number is NCB 102 and this IC should be uh, faulty now let me let's try first and reflow it because I can see something uh, like dust or liquid damage or I don't know what's that so let me turn off let's try and reflow this IC first and see if that will solve the problem Okay, let's try it now. Now it's let me see if it is cold enough. Yeah, I think it's cold. Let's try it now. Okay, the computer is on. Let's check the voltage here. It's 1.05 volt, and here it is. It's still nothing. So that IC is 100% faulty. Let's turn it off it's still on let's check uh, this uh, bin which is bin number one of the IC as you can see here is a small circle that indicates bin number one of the IC this bin is actually the VTT hardware power good which is 1.08 and yes we do have 1.08 so that means it's that IC is faulty let's replace it and hope it will fix the problem here is a replacement IC okay let's take first the old one Okay, so we replaced that IC. Let's go back to the main camera and uh, try it now. Okay, let me install this fan. I will test it real quick because the heatsink, the CPU heatsink, is not uh, yet installed. So let's turn on. yes and we have 0 0.9 volt and the fan slows down okay let's install now the heatsink and we will test it okay let's bring the microscope view okay, here is the microscope view as you can see now let's try and turn it on again I forget to install this do we get a display and yes we do have a display it does display let's try and turn it off and again on 
it's off let me go to this mode okay let's turn it on and yes we do have display so we managed to fix this computer by just replacing one ic which is driver ic which drives that mosfet and yes this computer is now fixed thank you for watching if you find my videos helpful please don't forget to share subscribe to my channel and like my videos thank you for watching if you have any questions please leave them at the comment thank you so much and see you in another video